guys good day in this video we are going to discuss the different feature of our simple project uh, so this is a simple registration system using HTML CSS JavaScript PHP and MySQL we are also using PHP mailer to send confirmation email once the user successfully registered in our system and we have also a forget password feature in which we can use just in case the user forgets his or her password so first is we have this registration form and the fields that we have are the name the email and password so i'm just going to use this email address and then sorry set the password to anything or password so once we have register as you can see we have this message success for registration and the email confirmation has been sent to the email address so here we have the database of the registration so once we register it is saved to our database so here is the user that we registered earlier so we have the name the ID the email the password and as you can see the password here it is encrypted and the token which I'm going to discuss later and date created and date updated so if we check our email address you can see we have subject line that we successfully schedule or register to the system and then we have the date and also in our body we are shown what password we use to register in the system so just in case you missed or forgot your password you can just click this one and then here this password reset you can use this one or this form to send us a password reset link so for example if I'm just going to enter an email and as you can see in our database we don't have that email uh, address registered in our system so if I reset password as you can see the email address does not exist in the system so we have an error however if we use this email address and click reset password so we have this successful message so password reset link sent to this email address now if we go back to our database so remember about the token column so right now it's empty but if we're going to refresh it has now the token or it has now the value so this token will be uh, or will have a value every time we use the reset password feature so if we go back to our email as you can see we have a new email and this one is the password reset email and here we have um, the link in which we are going to reset the uh, the password so 
if we look at the link so if we click this one we pass the token ID or the token that we gener that we generated when we click the forget or the reset password so that way we can check if this token exists and then we show the speed so for example if I'm going to update this one and I'm just going to add a random number or a letter and if I'm going to enter as you can see no token since that token does not exist in our database so now here we can uh, create or change the password then once we update so we have successfully changed the password and if I'm going to browse as you can see password has been changed and also the token is set to empty and the reason for that is since we have already used this token and if we refresh or maybe user will click it it will be invalid uh, token since we have already use this token so if we click this one again as you can see no token so that's basically the system and if you, to get the source code uh, I can just go to this link I'm going to display it in or put it in the description and can just you can do this code and then you can just download the zip file so that's it and uh, thank you